Hi friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. Today we're taking a look at this Tusa knife. This is model T103, TS103 actually. A night, uh, a night morning design. Titanium frame lock. Solid carbon fiber on the show side. A titanium pocket clip. D2 blade. Good long blade, not quite four inches. Very comfortable kind of knife. I'm calling this a gentleman's folder on a blue collar budget. And uh, <laughs> I think it is all that. So if you're interested in a full size folder, uh, sort of in a gentleman kind of style, you want to stick around and watch this video. It's coming at you right now. Well, let's first start off with the uh, size comparison. Oh, maybe I need to scroll or zoom out a little bit here. Here is your Ontario Rat. Yeah, I'm going to zoom out just a bit. Hold on. So, very much the same total length as an Ontario Rat, but you get more blade, you get more cutting edge, and you got pretty much the same size of handle, but you get more, well, close to the little bit more handle space than you even get on the Ontario Rat 1. Quite nice. Both have D2 steel, although most Ontario Rats have AUS 8. This knife, like I said at the beginning, D2 steel. We've got a swedge all the way across the top. So I'm going to call this a scan, uh, not a scandy grind, a saber grind instead of a full flat grind because the full thickness of the blade is right along that line there. And so if this uh, swedge wasn't here, you know, you'd have, a, you'd have a long, flat section. So, saber grind, very gentle belly, and just a short section here that's straight. Good sharpness toil, nice plunge right there. And uh, this knife, you know, it's not necessarily the easiest one to sharpen in a clamp system, but I found it easy when I just took it apart, and then I could clamp along the flat section here on the uh, spine of the blade up here, and just hold another clamp on this steel here just to keep it from moving around and it sharpened up very, very well. As you can see right here, this is after I've sharpened it. It's got a beautiful, nice mirror edge on there. Not a perfect mirror edge. I didn't spend that much time on it, but a nice edge. There was a tiny little spot right here where the uh, factory got a little bit of a grind right onto uh, the plunge area right there. So very, very tiny defect that I only noticed when I uh, had the light hit it a very specific way. Not a big deal at all. Very pointy here, so it's great for puncturing. Fairly strong, uh, but the tip right at the very end there is a bit thin. I never advise to uh, stick a knife into something and pry with it. It's not advisable. It's a cutting tool, not a pry bar. But do with your knives whatever you want because they belong to you. The uh, handle here is titanium. We've got a titanium backspacer, a little bit of jimping there, uh, milled out section here, and then your lanyard hole back here is uh, done very well. I like that quite a lot. So it's milled out underneath so it's easy to get paracord through there and then you don't have a big bulky paracord coming out the side of the handle. Not hot in the hand at all, right here by the uh, lanyard hole. Pocket clip is right side only. It's also titanium. So it's, it's milled with a curve. So even if they put a hole here on this side, they would have to make a different pocket clip to you know follow the curve this way here. So it is a right side only knife as far as the pocket clip goes. But I don't mind carrying a knife like this on the left side. I do it quite a lot, and it's handy and easy to use right away. It's got a good detent, uh, nothing to grab onto the end of the blade. You know, and with this chamfer here, it's not going to open up on you inadvertently when it's in your pocket on the left-hand side. It's a flipper here with a little bit of jimping on the flipper tab. Not a very big flipper, but works every time. You can use the light switch method or you know, push down on just a slight angle and it comes flying out that way as well. We've got ceramic ball bearings, ceramic detent, lock bar insert, 
beautiful. And the insert's got this little piece of steel uh, coming out right here so that, uh, you know, when you push the handle open, it touches the lock bar insert right there and stops it from going any further. T8 screws all over the place and they're flush or inset just a little bit. Solid carbon fiber on the handle, chamfering on the back, you know, just gently rounded, very, very nice. And then the handle itself has got this milling on it that makes it look just beautiful. It gives a little bit extra grip in the hand. It's a slight chamfer or slight rounded. You've got that milling there and milling here and then sort of a stonewashed section right in the middle and a stonewashed pocket clip there as well. The pocket clip slides in and out of pockets very, very well. Great design. And let's demonstrate that. So here we go. It goes into the pocket right to the bottom and it holds on. Just a little bit of knife sticking out. That's less than a centimeter, a little bit less than half an inch. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the action is just something wonderful. There's the Tucson logo there, night morning design there, and it says D2. And I don't know if this blade says China on it. No, I don't think it says China anywhere, but made in China as all Tucson knives are. One thing I found a little bit odd about this knife is these holes milled out right here in the handle. If this knife was, if they made the handle come out just another two millimeters, like less than an eighth of an inch, they could have that face be solid and not have that section milled out. The reason that's milled out is because the knife has got the stop pin built onto the blade. And so as that stop pin slides around, it actually pokes out of that hole just a little bit. And so they had to put the hole there. But like I said, if they would have made it just, you know, two millimeters less than an eighth, eighth of an inch further, they could have milled it out in such a way that it would be smooth on there. Very comfortable in hand, except for I found sometimes when I'm playing with it, this corner right here is a little bit of a hot spot. And the G10, that's easy to just sort of mill, just not mill, use a little sandpaper and round off that corner just a little bit. But I don't want to do that on the titanium because then you're going to get rid of this nice black sort of black wash finish and you'd have a shiny spot. And it's only been something in my hand sometimes when I'm playing like this and I'm opening the knife and closing it, opening and closing it. And, you know, sometimes it digs into my hand right there like that. So that's just if I'm playing with the knife, if I'm actually using the knife, super comfortable in hand. Looks good, feels good. Uh, fixed pivot pin, so there's no uh, Torx hole on this side, so you're never going to try to open the wrong end. Uh, not free spinning. So T8 right here, you loosen it up, take it out. There's no um, lock Loctite or anything in there. Very, very good. Now let's go over the sizes, dimensions, all that kind of spec information. 102 grams, 3.6 ounces with a long blade. <laughs> Cutting edge from the factory, it has been sharpened now, but I measured the factory edge 105 bess. Uh, but I did end up chipping the blade right up here, and I might even have a picture of it uh, when it had the factory edge, and that's why I've resharpened it so that I got rid of that little chipped out section right there. Uh, I don't think it was from the factory, but I don't know when it happened, but I chipped it out there. Probably I did. The rest of the dimensions here, the blade, the cutting edge length and the blade length are the same. 9.76 inches, 3.84. No, no. 9.76 centimeters, 3.84 inches. So almost a four inch cutting edge. The blade length is the same. The blade thickness is 3.8 millimeters. That's 0.15 of an inch. So just a little over an eighth of an inch thick. The blade depth right here, 2.06 centimeters, 0.811 inches. The thickness of the edge behind the grind right here, about an inch from the sharpener's choil, 0.49 millimeters, which is 0.195 inches. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Half a millimeter thick behind the grind. And that's what this is. 
the grind angle from the factory, 17.6 degrees on one side, 20.2 degrees on the other side. So that's very good. Uh, since those are ground by hand, they, they never come out perfect, and that's not a bad grind angle. I've resharpened this thing to 18 degrees per side. The uh, handle length is 12.71 centimeters, 5 inches. So the grip area in here, 10.8 centimeters, 4 and a quarter inches. The handle thickness, not counting the pocket clip, is 1.37 centimeters. That's 0.53 of an inch. The handle depth, it's actually biggest right back here, 2.22 centimeters, 0.875 of an inch. And when the knife is closed, the widest spot is, well, it's the same spot because that's the widest spot right there. Unless you want to count the flipper tab, that's a little bit wider here. The total length of this knife when the blade is open 22.3 centimeters, 8.78 inches. So this isn't exactly five, but very close. So basically a little over eight and three quarter inches for the entire knife. Just under five, well, we'll say five and just under four. You can get this knife from White Mountain Knives. They have it in stock, at least when I checked last yesterday. $59.99 US, but you can get 10% off if you use coupon code CCE, and that equals $53.99. So basically $54 US dollars for this knife. That's the best price I could find anywhere. I found some other places that were selling it for $75, $80. Uh, no need to spend that much money. Go to White Mountain Knives and get it there. Uh, especially if you're in the United States, because White Mountain Knives is in the USA. Every time they've shipped something to me, it's gotten uh, through to me and delivered to my house in a timely fashion. And, uh, you know, there's no guarantees that customs won't inspect knives. But uh, from White Mountain Knives, they tend to come through very, very well. No guarantees, like I said. In Canadian dollars, uh, that price equals about seventy-one fifty. In euros, it's about 49 In British pounds, it's about 41 So what do I like and or dislike about this knife. Well, I really like solid carbon fiber. It just has a different feel than laminate does, especially since they can do the 3D milling and it's not just a flat slab. So that's done very well. It's got a nice look to it. The weave of the carbon fiber is beautiful. Solid titanium here with this black wash kind of look and the milling that's done in here gives it also a beautiful look. Uh, it's, you know, not highly reflective. Yeah, the blade's fairly reflective with a satin look, but, you know, that's really nice. When the knife is closed, it's quite discreet. It's a good size and weight. The lanyard hole is a beautiful thing. Backspacer's done very well. And, um, you know, it, there's no milling in the handle here, so it's easy to just wipe it out uh, with a cotton swab or something if it gets dirty in there. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you some of the video of the inside. Here's the knife taken apart. There's the uh, lock bar insert. I'll give you a close-up of that. You can see on the titanium knife, uh, I'll just have to come it out, take it out here. There we go. There's a steel race. So titanium's fairly soft. The steel race to run the titanium, uh, I keep saying titanium, the ceramic ball bearings on. And there's another race on this side beneath uh, this set right there. There you go, you can see it right there. So that gives it a long life. Uh, backspacer, beautiful. And uh, you can see a better look of the uh, stop pin that's built into the knife. There it is. Beautiful. And the ceramic balls. Very, very nice. A little bit of a ramp right there for the uh, Right there where my thumbnail is for the uh, detent to slide up on. Back to the knife. Uh, the lock bar inserts perfect. Lock up is excellent. No blade play side to side, up and down. The lock release works wonderfully. It's got a little bit of a chamfer milled out right there, so it's easy to get in. There's even a little bit of milling out here on the carbon fiber on that side. I'll give you a close-up of that. Alignment, almost perfect. Just very, very slightly off on the titanium side. 
excellent action, very smooth. Let me get it past the halfway point there. Comes down, very nice. Flips very well, nice sound to it. I am definitely on a Tucson kick right now, and um, White Mountain Knives does have Tucson, and uh, they might not have very many of their Tucson knives in stock right now. He's placing a Tucson order, I think, this week. Um, so hopefully some more will be in stock fairly soon. Um, I like that it's T8 screws here all over. Very easy to use, and they are precision screws. Here's my uh, Weeha T8 driver. And if I put it in there, it just fits in there. And very, very slight wiggle. Just ever so tiny bit loose in there. Perfect. You don't want it too tight. And this isn't too tight. And it's certainly not too loose. And all the screws fit very, very well. The uh, pivot screw actually has the best fit and finish. Or the best fitment. The best place to get German tooling like this is KC Tool in the United States. I'll give you a link for them. Uh, they, have, they don't give me anything at a good price or anything. It's just I found their prices to be really good. And, you know, I do prefer Weha brand. What else did I want to say about this? Uh, like I showed you, the pocket clip works very well. I would like this flipper to be just a little bit bigger. Not much, just a little bit bigger. Maybe, see, as you can see right there, it's got three lines milled in it. If it was big enough to have just one more, I think then it would be perfect. That would also make this into a little bit bigger of a guard uh, so that if your hand's on here and uh, or in a reverse grip, which is very comfortable as well, if you did plunge it into something and come to an abrupt stop, you don't want your hand to be able to go over the cutting edge because you will be gripping it and then you're going to slice right through your fingers or there's a chance for it. So I would like this flipper tab to be a little bit bigger. but So there you go. That's this knife. Uh, new, uh, new morning design. What do you think of this knife? Please comment down below, link, uh, link it, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe, and uh, comment. I read all the comments, but I don't have time to respond to all the comments. Um, thank you very much. I will be responding to more comments probably in the new year uh, when I'm healthier and I'll have more time on my hands to be able to do that. I still spend a lot of time you know, just trying to get healthy uh, and uh, so those of you who are concerned about my, me and my health, I am still making progress. It's very slow going, but health is on the horizon. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, friends, cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.